Hello everyone, I am Bharat Singla and welcome to Codeship. Here you will find everything to learn and master competitive programming. So you know the drill with YouTube. If you have not subscribed yet, then make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss any of the future videos. Great. In this video, we will be discussing the left shift and the right shift operator and as any other bitwise operators, they also work with the binary form of a number. Great. So the general syntax of these two operators is A left shift B or A right shift B and they are denoted by these two less than and greater than symbols and you don't need to memorize. It's pretty obvious that this since it points in this left direction kind of like an arrow. So these two less than symbols are the left shift operator and this kind of seems to point towards the right. So this is the right shift operator. And let's see what they do. So let's say I take a is equal to 11. So a in 11 in binary form is 1 0 1 1. Right. And let's say I take b equal to 1. So I simply want to shift a's bits by one position to the left. So when I write 11 left shift 1 what I essentially mean is shift all the bits of 1 of 11 one position to the left. So here this is 11's binary form and if I shift all of them one position to the left. So I kind of bring this bit here. Bring this bit here. Bring this bit here and bring this bit here right so oh, sorry this is zero right so I kind of shifted all of these bits by one but we have to add something here so we add a zero here right so it's like pretty evident that if I add b zeros at the end so all the bits of the number a so all the bits of a get shifted b positions to the left so this was the zeroth bit this one now becomes the first bit this was the first bit this becomes the second bit right so if you know about cyclic shifts this is exactly the same you shift all the bits of a b positions to the left by simply adding b zeros at the end right so if i take 11 left shift 2 so this is simply 11's binary form and i just put two zeros so this was 11 originally and now when this one comes here this one comes here and this 0 comes here, this one comes here. So this is 11 left shift 2 and like what, what actually happens is this can be written as so basically any bitwise operator will take two numbers in the decimal system but then it will convert them to binary number and then whatever is the result in the binary form it will return us again that back in decimal form. So you will not get 11 left shift 2 the binary number. You will get this number's decimal version which is 44 right so that's how the left shift operator works and similarly the right shift operator is very similar as well it like if you go by the definition that it may sound very hard but i'll simplify it for you so a left shift b a, a right shift b is let's say i take 11 right shift right shift by 1 okay so 11 is 1011 and now we shift all these numbers one position to the right but that is not possible if you see because this is the zeroth bit the first bit the second bit and the third bit if i shift this bit one position to the right so i make this the minus oneth bit and that is not possible right so here what we do is we essentially remove the last b bits so if i remove this bit here so the new number i get is 101 so this bit comes here this bit comes here and this bit comes here so basically what happened was that this the last b bits in this case the last one bit got removed and because of that all the bits got shifted to the right by one position right and if you have 11 left shift 2 then the last two bits will get removed and it's essentially bringing all the bits two positions to the right now fine so that's how the left shift and bit, uh, right shift bitwise operator works and if you try to compare and contrast them 
in the left shift operator you add b bits at the end that are b zeros and in the right shift operator you remove the last b bits right so this is a kind of a simplified way to understand and to understand them and to remember it for now so now let's have a look at what actually happens to the mathematical value of a number of a when it's being shifted left or right by b so again taking the beautiful number 11 because it has a really nice binary binary version so 1011 1, 1. if i shift it to the left by 1 so it's basically this new number so this in decimal form is nothing but 22 and if i again shift it to the one position even more right so if i shift 11 by 2 so this is 44 so can you notice a pattern so what actually happens is that if a bit was at the zeroth position earlier right so how do we convert a number to decimal system we say that okay that 11's binary form is 1011 right so this is the zeroth bit this is the first bit this is the second bit and this is the third bit so to convert this to decimal system what you do is you wherever there's a one you simply add its contribution so 2 to the power 0 because there's a 1 at the 0th position that is 1 plus 2 plus you don't add 4 because that's off and then 8 so that's how you get 11 right but now when you have shifted the bits one position to the left so this means that the 0th bit is now the first bit the first bit is now the second bit right so essentially what happens is that the significance of each bit increases right and that causes the sum to be increased by 2 the sum to be basically become the double of its previous version because the if let's say this bit was initially contributing 2 to the sum so now it's the second bit so it contributes 4 instead this bit was contributing 1 this co contributes 2 instead and this bit is now one left shift uh, one left shifted so this is now not the third bit but the fourth bit so this is contributing 16 now and this is 22 so in a summation we know that if all the terms of a summation get multiplied by some value the overall sum also gets multiplied by that value right that, that is pretty basic arithmetic so the significance of each bit so each bit basically contributes twice its value than than the previous version so that's why the sum becomes double as well if you left shift it by 2 so now the contribution is instead of 2 it's adding 4 this bit instead of 4 now is adding 8 right so this is even 11 shifted 2 times to the left right and that is nothing but 11 shifted 1 times to the left and that value again shifted 1 times to the left so this time it's 4 plus 8 plus 32 and this is 44 right so we can say that a left shift b is nothing but a into 2 to the power b right because a left shift b can be written as a left shift 1 which we see multiplies the value of a by 2 this done b times right so this is the formula that comes out and similarly if when we are right shifting a number so the significance of each bit decreases by b so a left shift 1 we know will make a is nothing but a by 2 and remember the floor of a by 2 because a could be odd as well so when i decrease the significance of each bit and it basically contributes half its previous value so the summation also becomes half and so we can also write that a left a right shift b is nothing but a by 2 to the power b right so these are the two formulas that come out right this is the first one that a left shift b is a into 2 to the power b whereas a right shift b is a by 2 to the power b right so you can see their similarity as well as their difference so that's how these two operators work and let's try to code out some values as well so i am on my text editor sublime and if i simply output let's say 5 left shift 1 great so what we should get is we should get 2 because a 5 by 2 is 2 the floor of 5 by 2 and if let's say I shift it to the left by 2 so now this is nothing but multiplying 5 by 2 to the power 2 that is 4 so we should get 20 
and yes we get 20 so yep they, these are the two left shift and right shift operators they are not so like hard to understand but the basic idea is only about cyclically shifting the bits of a number so this wraps up the video guys if you learned something new and enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button and this is Bharat Singla from Code Chef signing off for now. I'll see you next time.